Visit Pioneer Town with me, a living, Old West frontier town in the Mojave Desert. Tour the film sets for hundreds of Old Westerns on Main Street in Pioneer Town. Visit a remote grove of old growth Joshua trees and watch the spectacular Mojave Desert sunset across the jagged Sawtooth Mountain Range. Truly a perfect day in California's high desert. Visit Pioneer Town with me, where the Old West is alive and drinking. What makes Pioneer Town different than most other Mojave Desert ghost towns is that it's full of people. Originally built as filming studios and outdoor sets, the buildings were intended to be lived in and enjoyed for the old frontier desert atmosphere as much as for filming old western movies and television shows. Actor Dick Curtis began developing Pioneer Town along with Roy Rogers, Russell Hayden, and Gene Autry in 1946 as an 1880s themed live-in Old West motion picture set. Sound stages and outdoor filming sets centered around Main Street were the filming locations for hundreds of westerns and TV shows. The Cisco Kid, Annie Oakley, and The Gene Autry Show were just a few. As social media and the world at large has discovered Pioneer Town, the rustic shop fronts of Main Street are all occupied and the local roadhouse music venue, Pappy and Harriet's, has a wait list of two to three hours for a table on any given night. And yes, I have waited three hours for a table before. Pappy and Harriet's is well worth the drive up from the low desert for dinner and dancing to live music. Make sure to get a reservation because they book out weeks in advance. I would love to photograph Pappy's, but it's very dark and full of people, so I'm uncomfortable taking photos of people in such close proximity. The irony is that a contingent of those people would beg to be photographed by anyone for any reason. <laughs> Pioneer Town is located in the Mojave Desert in Southern California, 20 minutes west of Joshua Tree, two and a half hours from LA, and 40 minutes north of Palm Springs. The area of Pioneer Town and the surrounding communities of Pipes Canyon, Rim Rock, and Gamma Gulch are in a high altitude desert valley that sees four seasons and regular snowfall every winter. After a diet-busting meal that was cooked over an open mesquite wood fire, we head up a dusty dirt road and come across a beautiful grove of old growth Joshua trees. The high altitude Mojave Desert is green and lush just as the low desert is heating up and the crisp breeze is cool and refreshing. A hawk circles above and the Mojave buzzes with life as the late afternoon sun warms the land. Unlike us in the low desert, they won't be sleeping in the air conditioning tonight up here. On the horizon, you can see the land begin to regenerate after being ravaged by wildfire several years ago. This year, there is a cast of orange wildflowers as what was once forest is now dry grass and scrublands. All over the western United States, land is regenerating after wildfire. Unfortunately, in the Mojave, the most important plant for the ecosystem as a food source, the pinyon or pine nut tree, is unable to regenerate after fire. Joshua trees beckon in every direction, with their spiky arms stretched outwards towards the heavens. Despite the intense climate that features freezing ice, snow, and searing heat, this grove of Joshua trees is thriving and have so far escaped wildfire. Just being near the Joshua trees gives me a feeling of peace, and they are spectacular company on this beautiful Mojave afternoon. As the sun goes down in the open desert, the coyote packs come out. Bearing that in mind, we head down to a viewpoint in Pipes Canyon overlooking the rugged Sawtooth Mountain Range. The Sawtooth Mountains get their name from the jagged horizon line 
its rocky peaks form. When the sun sets in Pipes Canyon, all of the Mojave granite that the mountains and land are made from turn beautiful pinks, oranges, and golds. Today I'm capturing this sunset to be enjoyed as a time-lapse video. Time-lapse videos are my new favorite way to appreciate the natural beauty and distill the essence of that experience of the setting sun to be enjoyed again and again. Every sunset is unique, and we all have a finite amount of sunsets we will experience. Setting up to film in the ideal location and letting the camera roll causes us to intentionally slow down and just sit and watch the sunset. It's been a beautiful day in the Mojave. Thank you for joining me today in Pioneer Town, California. I'm Will Brennan with Desert Mountain Apothecary, and thank you again for joining me.